name is Corey Alexander. I'm from uh, Wayne, Pennsylvania. How did I get started? I got started uh, probably back uh, five years ago based on a course that I took and decided what the hell I'll get into this and uh, fill up my weekends. What do I enjoy most about getting people to laugh? Um, that they're paying to see me, I guess, is probably the biggest thing. Yeah, suckers. But um, no, probably the, the biggest enjoyment is just uh, you know working very hard at developing a joke and seeing that it actually comes to fruition with the audience. That's really it's a great thrill. Oh, I love it! I love it. You guys, Friday night, get nuts. That's right, man. This is it. Oh, it's great to be here. You guys are having a lot of fun. I love to see that. You guys are laughing. That's great. I love watching people's laughing. That's the best thing about comics: seeing people laugh. That's awesome. That's it. That's it. I just want to let you know that. That's awesome. But I love the variety, though. I love in the back watching people uh, laugh and stuff. Everybody has their own little cute little way of laughing, which is kind of neat. But the one I don't understand is the one women laugh. There's one women laugh, I just don't understand it. The one where you cover your boobs. I never understood that one. You guys know what I'm talking about? The... <laughs> Why do you do that, ladies? I don't care what you do or how you do it. I'm staring at your boobies. Just let it go already. I don't understand it. You never see guys do that. You never see a guy like... That was great, Bill. <laughs> You want to stare at our junk? Go ahead, it's a free show. We don't care. We're not going to cover it up. It's crazy times. Well, I'm glad you guys are coming out. This is good. Well, here's the thing, though. I'm actually I'm a single guy, and I'm getting to that point where I'm in mid 30s now. I'm thinking about getting married. They're not thinking about getting married. Here's the thing, though. Being in my mid 30s, all my buddies are all married. They're trying to talk me out of it. You know, they're like, "Why in the hell would you want to get married?" I'm like, "Well, here's the major thing. I don't want to find myself in 20 years sitting around going, all right, Brittany, let's give it a shot.'" You think your kids can drive us to Vegas? <laughs> so, so I don't know. So I'm in my mid-30s and I'm thinking about getting married. So all my buddies are trying to talk me out. But here's the weird part. I'm looking at all my buddies who've gotten married. Five years after marriage, they're already letting themselves go. Already letting themselves go after five years of marriage. And all the married women, you know what I'm talking about. You know the signs, right? You got the beer gut, the hairy back. Starts wearing sweatpants in the movies. I need the red of the blue sweatpants. The red of the blue. Wait, am I getting laid tonight? No? Okay, the red of the blue sweatpants then. I don't care. Wanna look at my junk? No. Um. <laughs> so here's the thing. So I'm thinking about that. I'm like, God, you know, I don't wanna look at these guys. I mean, they're all this stuff's going. I'm in my mid 30s. I'm not getting any younger. And uh, so I was talking to my sister the other day. I'm like, man, what do you think's gonna happen? She's like, don't worry about it. If you ever know what you look like when you get older, you'll probably just look like that. I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> I love my dad, I do, but I will not look like that man after 30 years of marriage. I don't know what the hell happened to that guy, but he changed, man, I'm serious. Out of 30 years, he went from like tall and handsome to short and hairy. <laughs> guy went from Magnum P.I. to Alf. I don't know what the hell happened to that guy. He's a small monkey in penny loafers, that's all that guy is. He's got hair on the inside of his eyelids, it's out of control. Mows the lawn for eight hours a day, he tapes every remote control like it's a wounded soldier. The guy's nuts. So I'm like, I don't want to turn out like that. So I'm actually, I'm actually testing myself. I'm actually like, oh God, I don't want to get any hairier. I know it's making you horny, but hold on for a minute. <laughs> I'm actually looking at myself and I got, I got nervous because a couple of months ago for like two months straight, I was shaving. I was starting to shave up a little higher on my cheek every time. Do you realize what this means, people? I got hair growing towards my eyes. <laughs> Screw you people, that's not that funny. Imagine if I'm still single in 10 years at a bar, what that'll look like? Corey, check out that hot babe. Where? <laughs> be brutal. Here's one of the bigger things, though, that, I, that I, get, I get a little nervous about, though, getting older, is because sex changes so much. You know, even just it happens to be around. Like, every decade, sex changes for you. And here's the biggest thing. I've noticed a big difference from, like, my 20s to my 30s. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but here's the big thing. In my 20s, man, I was terrible at sex. I was terrible. I would finish so fast. I would finish just like that. And most times, without anybody else's help. <laughs> it was brutal. And if I got my pants off in time, that was a miracle. <laughs> oh my God, like a girl would take a bra off and that would be it. Like she would take a bra off, she goes, what do you want to do now? I don't know what you want to do, but I'm done. <laughs> you want to get some ice cream or something? But here's the thing, man, it changes though. I didn't realize, you know, like 10 years later, it changes and it gets better. Do you guys realize this? You're like, you're sexually mature, everything is good. And then I realized in my mid thirties, this is like, this is awesome. You ever had sex for more than five minutes? Oh my God, it sucks. <laughs> Having sex for five, it's like a job at that point. 
I'm tired, I'm bored. I'm thinking like four and a half minutes ago, this was fun. Now it's like a step aerobics class. You know, I'm in, I'm out, what the hell's going on? She in the middle of it, she put an iPod in. I'm like, what the hell's going on? And I hate it, because right at the five minute mark, that's where my knees start to violently shake, because all my leg muscles are cramping up. I need one of those marathon tables at the side of my bed with the cups of water so I can throw down and hydrate and get back in the game. Oh! Somebody throw me a power bar. I'm losing calcium. I can't do it. Hey, you guys have been great. I'm Corey Alexander. Have a great night. For more information, please visit our website at selectondemand.com or email us at programs at selectondemand.com. Made for On Demand. 